brother, brother, brother. Oh, once again, you already know, 2021. Derek Diablo, Del Boy D, Grandmaster Diablo D. Miami Casual, into Miami Firm, Colorblind Cutthroats, Diablo TV. Like and subscribe, do all things you do. Do all things you're supposed to do. Now then, we're keeping it going. Documenting the British hooligan scene. Other hooligan scenes around the world, you understand? The emerging US scene, but everything been bought, brought to a halt in 2020, as it were. So, what we can do is preserve the culture, the history of the firms, the conflict between the firms and so forth. And we come! First one I'm doing in this year, Foul Kirk. Foul Kirk FC. Foul Kirk Fear. Foul Kirk Youth. So, I've been knowing about Foul Kirk FC hooligans, hooliganism, since the 80s, baby, because you got the band Skin Deep. And they got the song, Football Violence. Football Violence happens every week. So, I've been knowing that song. I think it was in a Strength Through Oi compilation, or it was one of the original Oi compilations. I'm skinhead, I'm listening to Oi music since the 80s. So, already by 88 or 89 or whatever, you know, I knew about the Foul Kirk because on the Skin Deep album cover, one of my mates had, you know, I eventually saw it. It got a skin and a punk and it says Foul Kirk FC. So then they got the song Football Violence, which explains a lot of the flavor. So I'm listening to that as a kid in the 80s, you feel me? So I've been knowing about Foul Kirk since back then. Since that point though, once I actually got in the game, in the sense of meeting with lads and coming out with the Miami Casuals and coming out with the videos, getting online. Over time, I met a lot of lads from a lot of firms and I've met a bunch of lads from Foul Kirk, Foul Kirk Fear, Foul Kirk Youth. And to me, top class lads, I'm looking forward to meeting them. Much respect to Foul Kirk, Foul Kirk SC, Foul Kirk Fear. I, I'm looking forward when I come to Scotland. I mean to start by Aberdeen and work my way down and so forth, but I got respect for Foul Kirk. And the thing about it is, bottom line is Scottish people are tough, all right? Every single Scottish dude I made friends with in England that I hung out with, every single one of them had fought a football or actively does, you know. They, they, to me, the Scots are so-called jocks. You know, respect to my man Jock TCE, Plymouth, you understand? To me, they're just a tough people to begin with. So Scotland, when it comes to football violence and stuff, it might be on a different level overall than England in some sense. Those people right there, it seems like they like to fight. So this is only the first video. I intend to make a lot more videos in the future with the same firms I've covered, with better editing, with interviews, and furthermore, all you lads out there, we can't do nothing really with the football, right? But we can talk about it and we can preserve the culture. And furthermore, all you lads who have a YouTube channel, want to make a YouTube channel, plug it on my comments. I know Jason Mariner, Chelsea Headhunters, I know he got a channel, but also I know uh, Mark Chester that from the Naughty 40, you understand, he made a video with me uh, about me and something like that. I don't know how much videos he's doing right now, but if anybody else is a lad who's involved in the football hooligan game, British since the 70s, or from any country, 70s to 2020, if you got a channel and you're talking about hooliganism, I encourage you to do your thing, baby. But this one goes out to Falkirk FC, Falkirk Fear, Falkirk Youth. When I come to Scotland, which I'm looking forward to doing, I will be there right now. Were it not for this bastard pandemic, I'm going to come see you guys. Much respect. Cheers.